We're here in Te Awamutu Primary School, but we're in a studio, TAPS 107.8 FM. It is the radio station the people of TA listen to. And with me, I have a couple of guest announcers who are part of the radio club this year. So what are you guys' names? I'm Sam. And Max. So you guys are radio jocks in the making, eh? This is like radio school pretty much, yeah. but the real deal. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, tell me about you, Sam. You do the morning show. What's that like? Well, normally what we do in the morning is, is about, you know, the daily notices and letting children know and parents what's going to be on. And sometimes we do the DJ commentary is about, like, the 107.8 car. Yep. And things that, you know, about the gala, things that will be happening in our school, not just, you know, the day. Definitely, because you guys plugged this coming up on air, which um, you guys have been talking about quite recently. And I hear at the mo- you're playing this song. It's pretty cool. I like yeah, it like that. Um, guys, Sebastian something. Yeah, it's quite catchy. I like it. So you guys play like pretty much all the hits all the time. Yeah, so like when we're coming up here, like we'll say stay tuned for more classic hits on 107.8 Taps FM. Wow, that's so cool. I like it. It's such a good music mix. you got a little bit of Lady Gaga in there. And uh, do you have a favourite song that you want to just play all the time? Uh, maybe Bruno Mars. We play that a lot. You look a little bit like Bruno Mars, actually. Do you get that often? Um, yeah, my mum says, because she <laughs> listens to it. <laughs> I love Bruno Mars, eh? He's such a legend. And uh, tell me a little bit more about the station. How far does it broadcast to? It broadcasts out all the way out to Te Amaru, but... I think if you're just driving past some big buildings, it just cuts out automatically. Yeah, blocks a day. We get that with um, the mountains and stuff with our, our station. So it kind of works the same a little bit, eh? Like radio and TV. You, you guys are like our little brother and we're like the big brother with pictures. Pretty exciting. But I love radio. Do you guys know that I did a little bit of a radio school? That's how I got into TV, actually. So um, maybe you guys could be on TV one day. Do you reckon one day you'll be on the radio? Yeah, maybe ZM. Yep, with Polly and Grant. Yep. Nice, but it'll be with Samo on ZM Morning Crew with Sam and Max. Max. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of an uh, interview now on the radio, aren't we? But uh, Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. So it's cool, and you guys are going to interview me, which is cool. And um, you guys are currently fundraising at the moment to broadcast further, because you said you're, before your frequency was a little bit... Um, patchy in some places but tell us about the fundraising well we're fundraising mainly to like you know get a range of where you can broadcast to a bit further yeah cool that's good eh and um we're like so if we don't like if we, we um run it it isn't that big we could like put it on a bit of wood like build a little um like a chimney kind yeah. of thing okay so put the higher it up Higher up it is, eh, the more further it goes. Yeah. Ah, very cool. Well, there you go. Make sure when you're in Te Awamutu, you tune in to 107.8 with TAPS FM, which stands for Te Awamutu Primary School. Pretty clever there. And uh, also, obviously, if you live in Te Awamutu, tune in. You can, might be able to see what's happening around the area. And Sonny Bill Williams tunes in from time to time as well. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You are listening to 107.8 Taps FM, your education station. We are here live with Mushmash TV and we'll be interviewing them. Yep, so what we do, each week we go and visit two schools usually and we go into an area, like we could go to Rotorua, or we could go to Tauranga or Morinsville or just wherever. We like going to the, the smaller places, not to say Te Aumuru small, but um, we like coming to the um, littler places that don't get much exposure and get them on TV. So um, we thought we'd come to Te Aumuru Primary today, cover your radio station and the Kapahaka. We sometimes cover talent quests. We also showcase artwork, school stuff. And yeah, we kind of do a bit of everything. Like you, you tuned in the other day and we were making a teapot, eh? It's splashy. Yeah, kind of like that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. It's everything that kids love pretty much. We do colouring in competitions. We've got a website as well, mishmashtv.co.nz, so it's got what we do there. But it's real cool because kids get to um, have fun, get to say they're on TV, watch it at home with their mum and dad, or watch it on the internet. It's pretty cool. And um, I've heard that you had to do go to radio school to get into TV. Yeah, well, there's a number of ways that you can get into TV. The, the best way, actually, was a, a school down in Christchurch. and. Um, 
Well, I think it's still going, but um, obviously with the earthquakes and stuff like that, bit of uh, drama there. But I went the back way into TV, so I've um, I did a certificate in radio in Tauranga for six five months, and um, and then I always wanted to get into TV. So I heard there's a regional station in Matamata of all places. So I thought I live in Tiaraha, it's only half an hour away. I don't have to go to Auckland to be on TV. So I got a job there. I've been doing it for the last four years. Um, and yeah, it's a whole lot of fun and I enjoy it. But I haven't made it big time yet, still regional TV, but I'll, one day that's one of my goals that I'd be on um, nationwide TV, but it's a good place to start. Um, and you're not just doing by yourself, there's somebody else doing it with you, like? Yep, um, we've got our camera guy who comes out with us. He's, he, you can't really, you can't see him. He's, you guys can see him but you can't see him, okay? But if we come to your school, you might see him. He's a good looking fella. And um, yeah, he comes out with me and we go and, um, yeah, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be on TV or, or, or yeah, it'd be a bit blurry or something. So he makes sure the pitch is clear. He makes sure that um, uh, the sound's good, good quality, and um, that everything looks good, like composed wise. That's why he's filming this way instead of that way. So for some reason, because of the light, I think. So yeah. Pretty cool. Thank you, Ken. Um, um, thank you for coming into 107.8 Taps FM. No worries, mate.